what if the greatest power in the universe sits dormant within you, just waiting to be realized and expressed? Um, condensed into this physical reality as we incarnate and it becomes an illusion of our minds so we forget about who we are it's very powerful to see someone get in touch with what they're feeling and at the same time to get in touch with what is it they believe that's caused them to feel that and then once you get to the core belief of what it is that's causing them to feel what they're feeling or what they're experiencing or what they're creating in their life, by changing that thought pattern, you can actually change the reality. Let's say someone has an accident. They say, I didn't really do that. Well, something that was going on in the unconscious mind that created that accident. And so 90% of uh, all of what's going on is in the, in the unconscious mind. So yes, we're always creating something, whether we're aware of it or not. Meditation, you know, you're, you're meditating and focusing on the third eye. And the pineal gland is connected to the third eye, and then when you harmonize that with the pituitary gland, there's a, uh, a real sense of harmony that occurs, so a person is continually in, uh, in harmony. My sense of meditation is that it's not something you just do really only once in a while, it's something you're always in. Yes, and in a sense, it's like I am the meditation, rather than I'm doing a meditation. So I am the meditation, meaning I'm always grounded, centered, clear, focused, aligned, harmonized, and integrated in, uh, in every moment of my breathing day and even through the night when I'm not aware of my breathing, unless you're having a lucid dream. <laughs> well, the, the truth is, is we're fully responsible for our reality. 